Hey guys, welcome to an auto review right here on ToyWorldOrder.com with me, Duval, and my buddy Dave Draper. Yay! We are back with an awesome new review. I'm excited about this. Um, yeah, I'm, I was excited to get it. I've been waiting a long time for it. It is uh, from our buddies at uh, from our Warpo. good friends at Warpo Toys. Dun 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 dun. You're doing the wedding march? Dun dun dun. No, it's not the wedding march. It was just it was dramatic music. Dun dun dun. The 12 inch Cthulhu! Yay! Cthulhu the Great One! Cthulhu the Great Old One! Yes, the Great Old One shall return to rule the Earth, but not if the Professor has anything to say about it. He Will doesn't. Cthulhu defeat the Professor? You decide. This box is awesome. Yeah, it's, uh, as as with the entire line, it, it clearly shows um, the old school yes. kind of uh, vintage yes. mentality. The, the painting is gorgeous. Yeah, um, the pain, painting is the. Uh, yeah, the painting is really cool. Yeah. It is. Uh, it, this box is done in the in the same vein as, like Dave said, a lot of the the line is done in the vintage age style. But the box, the this box, particularly alone, Star Wars. I, yes. Like if, if you collected Star Wars toys, this is going to seem very familiar to you. Yes. The front, of course, is a fully painted, fully painted a little. I think even the the little picture of the. Well, no, that's an actual, no, that's an actual, actual product toy. Show. Yeah. But uh, the sides on both sides are the same. So are the same. But you've got this great. But you got the line art, art. Yeah. Depicting the uh, the four characters in the line, which is pretty cool. So you got the 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 professor, the cultist, the deep one, and the spawn of Cthulhu. Yep. And then the back is this great line art, uh, like Dave said, much in the vein of the classic '70s, early '80s packaging. Yeah, and again, it depicts the toy itself and, and lists some of the features. A little kid playing with it. A little child happily bringing That's... about madness and sanity and the end of the world. Yes, indeed. Um, this box. This box. So alone, many memories. Yes, this box alone is really, really magnificent. It is a very cool box. I mean, it's 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 pretty darn. They they did such a great job. And with it's the box. You know, it's it's sturdy cardboard. It's it not is. like that wafer thin stuff that Hasbro uses Wafer-thin. these days. Wafer thin. Um, God, Warpo just keeps hitting another park with with showing companies like Funko. This is how you do a vintage line, and this is how this is what you do to pull it off. Like we've we've complained, you know, we've talked about the reaction line. Of, the Warpo line surpasses it so much. Oh yeah, they, they've done such an amazing job. Well, on and again, figures. it's 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 like the letter of the thing and the spirit of the thing, and Warpo catches the spirit, spirit. of it perfectly. Yes, yes, they do. But uh, with the box out of the way, yeah, let's take a look oh, at the actual toy. Hold on, hold on. I got him over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got him over here. It's the Spawn of Cthulhu. No, that's Tendril from 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 the Humanoids. What? Although I mean, it it clearly was intended to be a very Lovecraftian Cthulhu-like character. This is the spawn of Cthulhu. The spawn of Cthulhu. Oh, well, no, it's not the spawn of Cthulhu. Oh, it, it is Cthulhu. Cthulhu. It is mighty Cthulhu himself. Here, um, Tendril wants to pet it. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put Tendril down now. Comes with the wings as a separate piece, and you. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, they're not. They're slotted. They're notched. They're, they're notched in a certain way, yeah. so they they go in. I do this perfectly every time, and then the one time I got to do it on camera. And then, you, yeah, you twist it down. And they do kind of... Uh, they have a little they articulation. Only, they have a little articulation going up, but going down, they, they hit a certain stop spot. Stop spot. Stop spot. Yeah, well, whatever. Spot. Spot. Um, spot. Which, uh, based on the way that I have my display set up, was the tiniest bit inconvenient. But... Um, <laughs> Just if, if these had been able to go down a little bit more, he would, it would have been, he, he would have fit. Yeah. But that's that's a very specific thing to me, and, and obviously Warbo can't right. custom make the toys to my spe specifications. Specifications. It's been a long night, people. Uh, so as you see, uh, here he is with his wings. Twelve inches tall. Twelve inches tall. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven points well, of articulation. Eight, eight, nine. Eight, technically. nine. Technically. 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 But uh, seven points on the body, which yes. is pretty cool. So. Uh, this um, it's just a great looking. I mean, it's just it's just a magnificent looking figure. I mean, this is this hand is sort of uh, sculpted in such a way. I didn't bring my other uh, Warpo figures, but you can put put somebody in there. Um, I was looking for a three quarter inch figure, but uh, apparently I, I have none hiding anywhere. Oh no, which is strange. I had a uh, I had a uh, storm shadow around here somewhere. Oh, he's uh, like way underneath the. Is he? Oh, he is. Oh, I get him. I can get him. Come on. <laughs> yeah, let's just do this on camera. Ah! All right. Storm Shadow. So, yeah. I found him. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Will the ninja defeat Cthulhu? <laughs> no, he um, won't. Um, no. no. What? <laughs> oh. 
I'm sure. He's fine. I'm he's sure fine. It's fine. I'm sure. eh, it's not very valuable figure anyway. It's fine. But uh, I mean, the sculpting on this is amazing. The yeah, the sculpting I mean, is they, great. They, there's there's a, a, a tremendous amount of detail. Yes, there is. From all his little warts to, I love the the spines on him here, which are really cool. Um, the head sculpt is amazing. Like all these like veins, these popping veins, yeah. and his uh, of course his uh, his tentacle law of tentacles. And you can't see it, but they did. And I don't think the head will yeah, rotate. Don't don't rotate it. Here, there we go. I'm not far. There we go. You can see. They sculpted the underneath of the tentacles. Like the, the underside of the head is sculpted in such a way. I just pulled the wing off. It's fine. It's a vinyl figure, Dave. There's not a lot of damage you can do to the thing. <laughs> See? See, in your case, though, that feels like a challenge. Uh, it is a challenge, but I'm not going to try to... Try to defeat that, but yeah, they, the the sculpting on the uh, the tentacles even on the like the underside. Yeah, you all, see the little suckers. Yeah, the suckers are all there. They, they they really did a good job on this figure. I mean, this is just a is there, um Even though he's all green, there is some subtle paint variations. On there the, are on his belly and running up his spine. Yeah, he's got some different uh, um, different colored. Uh, yeah, there's it, 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 you know extents and highlights some yeah. details. He's got little dew claws in the back. The dew claws in the back are pretty cool. Yeah. Um, um, just a great figure, man. I mean, all around. Uh, He's a very cool toy, and I'm very glad we got him. For anyone, yeah, because this was one. Of, this was supposed to be one of the Kickstarter rewards. It was a very special stretch goal. Yes. That he wasn't a reward. If it they was hit, stretch if, goal, I mean, yeah. If they hit that stretch goal, you would be able to buy him separately. Right. They would make him, but you'd have to buy him separately. Right. And then, um, luckily for everyone involved, they found someone who was more than willing to. Uh, uh, put in an order, yeah, and uh, get it made, and and we're also getting a, a variation on him. Yes, yeah, so a glow in the dark. A uh, glow in the dark. I think um, either glow in the dark or kind of a, a translucent. Hmm. Um, not one hundred percent sure. He should be coming out. Actually, I thought he was the the variant. I thought was coming out first. First, but we get this guy first, which is cool. And I felt kind of bad because they, uh, you know, the Warpo guys were at uh, the this most recent King County Toy Show and wanted to meet up with us, and we never had a chance to. Yeah, um, I, I don't know what happened. Something, something went wrong there. But. Yeah, and we, uh, you know, they, they wanted to show this off to us, but I was like, Dave, uh, Dave yeah, one was our, one was already on route, yeah, so Dave, yeah, Dave sort of got one. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I mean, they, they just knocked this figure out of the park. I mean, there's not much. Not much else to say about this figure because he's just he's so well done. I mean, I mean, honestly, this is a toy that I would have I would have killed for when I was like thirteen. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I I love it. He's he's awesome. He is a very very cool figure. Yeah, I mean, if you're a obviously if you're a Lovecraft fanatic like I am, it's it's a must have toy. If you're just a monster enthusiast. He's a cool monster. If you're an action figure guy, again, he's a cool monster. He's a, he's yes. a cool antagonist monster figure. Yes, I agree. Um, you guys can find him though. You can go to BigBadToyStore.com, your little right comic on. book shop, um, a, a number of different book retailers are carrying Warpo products. Uh, and you can go, like I said, if you go through your local comic shop, they can order it from Diamond, uh, the, the uh, Diamond retailer exclusively. So yes. uh, they'll be able to get a hold of this product uh, and anything else Warpo releases in the future. But uh, make sure you check it out. Uh, what did he retail? He retails for $49.99? Uh, no. no, more than he's, that. He's pushing. He's pushing about a hundred. Push about hundred. It's just under like eighty nine. Yeah, like, there were two things that I got. The other review we'll be filming tonight, mm. and they were both just under a hundred. Gotcha. So, um, and you may think that that's a little steep for a vinyl figure, but it's well worth it. I mean, for that, you know, for this box, it's well worth it, people. It's, it's pretty spectacular. It's. I mean, it, it's a great toy. It is. It is indeed. um my only my only complaint now my only thing is we've gotten everything that they they had in the Kickstarter except the author mm. which I I would really love for them to find a way to produce yeah somehow. we kind of need the author now uh, you know so so other than that I am I'm super happy with this line uh, as I said in our review of the basic figures if you ever want a list of suggestions for a wave two <laughs> I you know Migo the great old ones uh, Pigman's model. The author. Um, so you know, there, there's four right there. And this line is always this line from the start had been really, really, really well received, and just continues to be well received. So yeah, uh, you can still find pretty much all of the first wave of the uh, Legends of the Cthulhu line from Warpo Toys uh, at your local retailers. And and I will uh, say that uh, one one sort of uh, nerd uh, inside baseball kind of thing is is I saw some at the local at the toy show that we were at this weekend. They were already starting to command a pretty uh, decent price. Yeah, they're which indicates that they are uh, popular. Yep, and yep. and people want them. Yes. So 
Uh, if you want to make sure you go out and get them now before they get way yeah before they get out of yeah before before they're gone and then you got to pay through the nose yes yeah, so make sure you check those out uh, gang make sure you check us out on YouTube if you're not already go to youtube.com slash toy world order hit subscribe mash the like button as the uh, as your Lord Cthulhu says mash it Cthulhu <laughs> that yes. hurt yes. <laughs> and make sure you check us out on toyworldorder.com and gang until next time keep playing with your toys take care guys. Pardon me, boys. Is this the lair of Great Cthulhu? Ah, yeah. In the river of slime, where it is night all the time. Bob, Hope, and Bing never visited Great Cthulhu. And I can't remember the rest of the song. I'm going to take my, my Cthulhu and go this way. Yeah, I got one of those at home, too. I know. Dang it. Bye-bye. <laughs>